Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So during this video, you may hear some really loud thunder and you might see uh, obviously flashes of lightning coming through the door because we're basically having uh, some of the worst weather I've ever seen in my lifetime. It is tremendously bad. So I thought, what can I do today? I don't want to sit watching YouTube videos or uh, catch up with UFC. I've kind of catched up with the John Jones fight uh, and I don't uh, agree with uh, John Jones versus Dominic Reeves, I think it was. I don't agree with who won. I'm not going to say who won because I don't want to spoil it for anyone and they not watched it yet. But I don't agree with who won. Anyway, so today I thought I'd film the YouTube video because there's not a lot I can do outside because it's such bad weather. So I wanted to show off three amazing new snakes I got from Ross McGee and also talk a little bit about the fact that he's now started a YouTube channel. I think it'd be very, very worth following along because Ross is one of the very few people inside the UK that's working with Sunset. Now I will admit the majority of Sunset combos I've seen so far have not excited me, but yesterday, uh, or the day before, I saw the Sunset Clown and I was actually quite blown away because the clown and the sunset blended together actually made quite an orange looking clown. So it's gonna start off orange, it's obviously gonna dull out a little bit as it ages, but the fact that it starts off orange gives you fantastic building blocks to move forwards. So I think the uh, uh, sunset clown and sunset like hypos and hypo clowns, sunset hypo clowns, sunset orange dream hypo clowns, you know, uh, yellow belly, just stuff like that. I think, I think, so here, here we go, uh, you heard it here first, Sunset, Clown, Hyper, Orange Dream, Yellow Belly is just going to be outstanding. I think it's just going to be spectacular. And if anyone wants to lend me a Sunset next season, I don't mind putting it to my Hyper Clown if it works now. Um, so it really, ex really excites me that. And Ross, like I said, is one of the few people that's working with the Sunset. And I think he's going to do tremendously well with it uh, moving forward. Now that the Sunset Clown has been proven to be outstanding, I think we're going to see some really cool combinations. Uh, up to now, we've been a bit brown, a bit wishy-washy, and haven't aged fantastically well, a bit like some um, exantic combos are kind of brown now. Uh, they don't stay that beautiful silvery black colour, silver and black colour, should I say. But I think now it's changed my opinion that it's got a really bright future and I'm sure Ross is going to do some fantastic things. So Ross doesn't have a huge collection, but where he maybe lacks in quantity, he more than makes up in quality. He's got a good eye for quality. And recently we did a trade, I, I traded him a, a, I think it was a five or six gene clown combo. Uh, it was a pastel lesser GHI yellow belly fire clown, six gene clown combo uh, for uh, three snakes. Uh, Ross has helped me now push forward in uh, two projects and I've helped him push forward in the fan project. So I think, well, we're both really happy with the trade. And I always say that if everybody's, if all parties involved walk away happy, then it'd be a good deal, a good trade, and you do good business again. It's only when you do a trade and one person feels that you've got the leg up and the other person feels that the other person got the leg up, then kind of goes away with a sour effect. So when you're doing trades and, and, and deals like that, always make sure that everyone walking away is very, very happy and it pays a bright future for you moving forward doing trades. So please follow Ross, Ross's channel. I definitely think it'll be worth watching. Uh, the Sunset uh, Clown Combo is really, really exciting now, uh, but I'm kind of gonna sit on the sidelines a little bit longer uh, just to see that unfold. But also I wanted to talk a little bit and show off an outstanding snake bred by Rene, uh, Snake MD. A fantastic European breeder. Uh, this snake is owned by Darren Hughes over at Navy Constrictors, and he's been very, very kindly, uh, he's very, very kindly lent me this snake to plug into one or maybe even two females, and then I will pay him back in uh, some of the offspring. So it works for, for both of us. But I recently watched the Gary Gamaya video, and he created a super orange dream fire cinnamon, and I was actually blown away by just how beautiful that quite simple snake was, but we're going to then uh, lay on hypo uh, and things like that. So yeah, it's a super orange dream, fire cinnamon, and maybe hypo, uh, but we're going to lay on calico and a few other genes. So a really, really interesting snake. I'll link that video down below also, and if you haven't, well, I'm sure you have, if you haven't subscribed to Gary's channel, please do. Uh, fantastic guy, fantastic snakes, uh, one of the more uh, seasoned breeders who's got probably 20 plus years under his belt. So thanks to Darren Hughes for that. Darren's obviously a good personal friend of mine who's around here 
a couple of nights ago with uh, JB, who was another fantastic snake breeder. He was the first person in the UK to create the scaleless, and he did very, very well out of that. Uh, and he's also a top uh, monitor breeder. I'm really excited for Jay's future with monitors. Um, uh, me and Jay have a good relationship. It's kind of only just starting, but really fantastic guy. I really do like him, and obviously Darren as well. So it was my pleasure to have them two round. We had some uh, drinks, uh, some snake talk. Looked for a, uh, looked for something here. I actually want to what like. I'll tell you later. And then um, we uh, we went out for a meal, some more drinks, came back here, and just had a little laugh. So thanks to you two for visiting. So now I'm going to show you some cool snakes I recently picked up from Ross, and also the one that Rene produced that Darren owns that he's led me to breeding uh, a, br uh, a joint breeding. So, uh, so let's take a look at them now. Right guys, so I'm gonna go in kind of reverse order from what I think uh, is the best. So I'm gonna show you the least impressive visually, but this is a fantastic building blocks uh, moving forwards. So this snake is potentially a pastel fire hurricane. Now it is in shed. I was going to wait till it shedded just to uh, bring you the, the kind of best version of it. But to be honest, I know it'll shed and then I'll just be busy and I won't get a chance. I've decided to show it, it has got a little bit of a grey hue to it. It's not the best example of the hurricane, uh, you can see the hurricane in it but it's, you know, it's not the absolute uh, best kind of expression of hurricane. But that doesn't matter to me because the, the fact that it's got the hurricane uh, gene inside it and I can obviously pull it out and uh, mix it into certain combinations that just express it a little bit differently. So I'll just check the sex of this one. This one's a female. So this will just sit on the shelf growing up and then uh, once she's ready, uh, get her uh, going to some quite cool combos. So next up, and I think this is a fantastic looking snake. Uh, I love how Hurricane and Lesser have reacted. But this has also potentially got Fire or Vanilla. Uh, we don't know which one, but either one will be fine. But if I could choose, I would choose vanilla, just because the super form is not a pure white snake. So if I ever double up on vanilla, I don't sacrifice the beautiful colours and contrasts to create a potentially white snake. So this one's a male, so I'll plug him into some clown combos, I'm sure. I'm uh, really excited to work with this snake. Uh, the hurricane uh, combo, the, sorry, the hu hurricane gene uh, kind of became on my radar a couple of years back and I kind of sat on the sidelines a little bit watching it develop but the hurricane clown combos that I've seen are just amazing but also there was summer, a banana hurricane summer at the Houghton show and I almost bought it but I promised myself I wasn't going to spend X amount of money because it was quite a lot of money and I bought like 17, 18 other snakes so I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to spend any more money, but I almost did come back with it. So I'm looking forward to plugging this into banana as well. And when I do, I hope I miss the lesser because although lesser bananas do age well, I don't want the lesser to uh, water down the banana colours. I want the colours to stay very rich and very strong. So that is the lesser hurricane fire or vanilla. So next up for me is just a truly outstanding, spectacular snake. I saw this on a YouTube video that a lady had gone around to uh, Ross's house. I can't, sorry, I do apologise. Can't quite remember the channel name, but she'd filmed uh, Ross, some of Ross's amazing snakes. And I heard Ross say, I want to keep this one, but I can't keep them all. And I contacted him instantly and said, is that one for sale? Because if it is, I'd like to own it. So that's how the kind of trade came about. Now, if you don't already know or you haven't worked it out, this is a beautiful orange dream leopard fire yellow belly 100% head clown now i do own this very same combo what's double head clown pie but that is a female this one is a male so while she's growing up i can plug this male into some of my amazing clown combos and make some super orange dream clown combos and other obviously clown combos so really pleased i own this snake i think you've done that fantastically well with the quality ross uh she is just beautiful uh You've got my respect just on this snake alone for creating such a fantastic snake. Because uh, people create beautiful combinations, but they don't kind of shine as bright as others uh, with the same genes. And this one is truly spectacular. So just to show you the female side by side with this one, because they are very slightly different. So I, I am a little bit worried one is missing a gene, uh, but 
To be honest, the jeans I wanted was Leopard and Orange Dream and 100% Heckland, which is Snake, is, oh, and Yellow Belly. So I pray, I'm not I'm not that worried about fire. I've got fire kind of ticked over and over, so I'm not worried about fire. But as long as this snake has got Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, Leopard, obviously it's Leopard and Orange Dream. As long as it's got the Yellow Belly, which I'm sure it has, it does look fantastic, uh, I'll be happy. So I'll just grab the female just to show you. So we have to appreciate this female is older. Sorry, I'll just grab that one that's running off. So this female is older. You can see the patterns are very, very different. This has got a richer orange, but this female is approximately one year older. Uh, same beautiful white belly with the oranges coming up, uh, coming down, should I say. Beautiful snake. This one's got a fantastic head stamp. Just amazing. So this snake is double head clown pied and it was produced by Justin Kabalka. So just a truly spectacular, spectacular snake. Uh, really, really amazing. I'm, I'm so pleased to be working with such fantastic jeans. Uh, Ross's, I'll give it to Ross. Ross has got the, uh, the kind of better version of the Orange Dream, a little bit less noise, a little bit less uh, browning, but uh, this female, I, I do wonder if this female's got fire and the, the other, the male hasn't, but it, that doesn't matter to me, so I'm, I'll still be happy. So just trying to get these under control, which I'm normally quite good at. This one's chill out. Right, there we go. So yeah, really, really pleased to own these snakes. And these just two alone, imagine just plugging them two into each other. As long as one hasn't got fire or you missed two copies of fire in the pairing to make Super Orange Dream, Super Leopard, Super Yellow Belly, Clown, Posset Pied. That would just be phenomen phenomenal. And I know you'd maybe think, well, two copies of uh, Yellow Belly makes the ivory, but I don't for one second think it would make an ivory coloured snake. I think the colour with two copies of Leopard would be there through and through. I think it'd just be amazing. So thanks once again to Ross and Justin for these fantastic snakes. So last up, and like I say, I don't own this snake. This is the one Rene produced and Darren Hughes owned. Just a truly spectacular snake. Now, I'm gonna take my hands away, hoping that the camera now processes the color correctly and shows you that be beautiful, rich oranges in the center. I'm not pointing because I don't wanna disrupt the color. Uh, in the center, you've got a color I can't even describe. What I'm talking about is this section here. I can't describe that color. I don't know what it would be called, but it's just a, the most beautiful color. And then the, the hypos really kind of washing the colors through a little bit, making it look the hypomelanistic hypo does. A beautiful ghostly kind of color. Fantastic snake. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna we're not gonna say exactly what we're gonna plug into, but obviously you can work out we're gonna go for super on dream combos. And I think we'll do fantastically well both of us. Beautiful, beautiful snake, just absolutely fantastic. And I, I do really appreciate you lending me this, uh, Darren. Uh, I'll make sure, obviously, both of us are very happy with the outcome, as long as I, 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 I obviously get eggs. But just a fantastic, fantastic snake. I uh, love how uh, Hypo's reacted with the Orange Dream and Cinnamon. So that's why we want to double up on the Orange Dream. But the camera, I can see through the uh, lens, well, not the lens, the screen, because it's my iPhone. Uh, the camera is really struggling with the color. So I'm going to take my hands away again, just so you can just see that. Rene makes some of the best orange dream combos on the planet. He is, he is very, very uh, gifted in seeing what uh, what blends well with Hypo. It's just fantastic. So I'll be looking forward to showing you what me and Darren get from this beautiful snake. And uh, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to working with this snake. Uh, he did his job over at Neighbours Constrictors, so now he's coming here to do some work here. But can you see how the color uh, dropped into, it just gets lighter. This section here is just, take my hands away, just spectacular, absolutely beautiful. So thanks once again uh, for lending me the snake, Darren. So just because I don't like to have many videos with none of my snakes on, quite a, a lot of people have shown huge interest in this snake. She's not leaving, but I just thought I'd show her off again. So Super Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, Disco, Possible Calico, uh, the, the fact that it's got these kind of whites coming through, I do wonder if it is actually Calico. The father is a Super Orange Dream Yellow Belly Disco, and he did look very, oh, and he did look almost identical to this snake uh, in his earlier days. 
So for now, I'm just kind of presuming he is, she is, sorry, a super Andrew yellow belly disco. But if she proves out to be Calico, that'll be a bonus. Look at that fantastic little head stamp. I hope you can see that. So you've got a very a light circle with a deep circle inside, but then you've got just a little slit of, of lightness going in between the eyes. It's, I don't know what it kind of looked like. Maybe you guys will be able to tell me, but it's just a really, really cool pattern. And then as you come in close, you can see just these fantastic oranges coming down, the beautiful whites underneath. Gives it almost like a hep hide look, but to the best of my knowledge, she's not hep hide, I hope she is. Just fantastic. So, uh, really pleased to be working with the Orange Dream. Aussie Boys is just absolutely smashing the Orange Dream combos, obviously, because he is Mr. Orange Dream, but he's, he's just shown us all what you can do with this, this fantastic gene, particularly when you double up on it. So, I'm just going to end the video now on that snake, guys. I hope you enjoyed it so far. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. Now, sometimes when I give someone a shout out and I ask you guys to go follow them on Facebook, Instagram, or even YouTube, sometimes people question, why do you do it? Uh, they almost act like they're gonna get the upper hand in something. This hobby is to be enjoyed and it's to be shared. Now, the hobby in itself are coming very, very close together. It's a very tight knit, I still, understand that there's kind of bad people in the industry there always will be but the majority of the reptile industry are fantastic people and we're all gathering together as friends sharing sharing tips and advice and bigging each other up and just kind of pushing all that positivity so that's what i'm trying to do and i hope ross's channel now gets a bunch of subscribers because i've got 4,000 subscribers on here so I, if if 25 percent of you go over there we'll get we'll smash them over a thousand subscribers so I'm going to keep a close eye on this channel for the next seven to 10 days to see just how your subscribers go up. So go check him out. The link is in the description down below. So you've got no excuses. Click on the link, subscribe, give Ross lots of time to develop because getting in front of the camera and talking is very, very difficult and it's nerve wracking. And I struggled with it for over a year. I used to love doing YouTube videos. I hated it. But I knew it was something I had to do to uh, develop urban constrictors into what I wanted it to be. And I've got some amazing things moving forward for urban. Uh, urban's going to be, well, I'll talk about that in another video, but we've, we're doing some fantastic things behind the scenes. Rep Ship's doing fantastically well. And I'm just trying to build the urban constrictors brand up, um, which I, I know I will do. So check out Ross's channel. Uh, if you, I'm sure you know Darren Hughes, but if you don't, I'll put a link to his Facebook uh, profile below so you can follow him. He will do a YouTube channel one day, but he's a very busy guy. And once he finds time, I'm sure he'll get his YouTube channel uh, off the ground with his partner in breeding, Eric, uh, not in love. <laughs> uh, he, he, the, the reason they're called Neighbours Constrictors, for those of you who don't know, they're next door to each other and they kind of share a facility, although they are, the facilities are now separate. But Derek and... Derek, Derek, there you go, Derek, <laughs> Derek, Darren and Eric, Darren and Eric are both fantastic guys, so I'll put a link to their page, like I said, in the description box below, go follow them, and I know I mentioned Garrick and Justin, I'll link theirs, but let's face it, you'll all obviously know who they are. So thanks for watching guys, I know I've rambled a little bit, but I've hung out better to do, it's absolutely torrential rain, so I'm just going to do some Check out all my pairings, make sure everything's going smoothly. I've obviously got my first uh, clutch in the incubator, which I'm so excited about. So please give the uh, video a thumbs up to show your support. Uh, like it, share it, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Push my channel forward so, so it inspires me to do more and more videos because it's you guys that's pushed me uh, forward uh, to keep doing these. If my channel wasn't gaining momentum and, and gaining genuine followers, uh, I wouldn't have kept, kept up with it. But uh, you can see that my uh, subscribers are authentic, genuine subscribers, because as my channel grows, my views grow. So smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notif notification bell, so you get notified when I upload a new video, and I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers, guys.